were working in rockets, I am a mechanical engineer, but I had the fortune to, to build a rocket. But a rocket is never a mechanical engineering product alone. It's a combination of so many types of technologies and sciences that finally makes a product like a rocket. And for us to understand it, it takes many years. It takes us to assimilate the knowledge and skill of thousands of people to build something like this. It's a very complex process. So first and foremost that you should develop a quality of respecting domains other than yours. Just by developing the skill to respect others, then you will actually learn a little bit of that. And, and if you can really get to know something more than your actual domain that you are an expert in, I believe that if you are an expert in one domain, you can always become an expert in multiple domains. Let it be uh, you know, the civil engineering, some of them who graduated here, you can also learn a little bit of electronics. You can also learn a little bit of mechanical engineering, also chemical engineering, also uh, handling people and also understand a little bit of economics, a you know, little bit of law and a little bit of policy and the world affairs. I think all of this together makes a perfect person to handle complex problems of tomorrow's world. I think this is what an institution make a person out of. I believe once you graduate from here, continue to remain as a student and I believe the domain that we are representing, as in today we are inaugurated the satellite building, I think this is one of the excellent areas where a multidisciplinary domain can be explored by people of interest. Where mechanical engineering, electronics engineering, computer programming, you know, dynamics, complex you know, uh, the interactions with the various you know, material sciences, etc., etc., comes into play. It's a real, true world of multidisciplinary engineering. When Dr. B. C. G. Vargas thought about an aeronautical course to come here, I think it is transforming itself in an aerospace course that in the days to come, where the space become an integral part of the entire life of human beings. I think there is no escape from it. I think from, from that point of view, let me thank uh, the institution, the institutes for honoring people like me coming from space sector uh, and also person who is uh, coming from the divine sector to be on the same board to be awarded this after honoris causa. Thank you so much and great days for kids.